So we have a patient here. He came to us with a chief complaint of a broad uh, nasal base, the nasal radix, and broad alar base, and also complaint of the short chin. So we are going to do a rhinoplasty for us. We are going to address the radix. We are going to narrow the nasal uh, the nasal radi uh, radix as well as. Uh, we are going to give, define the nasal tip as well as going to reduce the alar base. And we are going to do a genioplasty. We are going to advance the uh, genium, the chin, both in the vertical and the horizontal direction so that she will get a much, a very prominent uh, chin. So this is immediately after we've done um, cosmetic rhinoplasty. You can see how we've made the tip pointy and the nose slender. That's what the patient wanted. Bone area, also the alar base. Now we've given it much more definition. That was the before. This is the current side view. Slight pain will be there, okay? Be done. hurting a little bit? No. Just the sides in one minute. I'll show you the side view. See the side view also. There's some swelling there, but still it's gonna it's it gonna go down. down a little bit there, so the nose will look a little bit slimmer and longer. Okay. I didn't think like it looks so odd. <laughs> You didn't expect this much change. See, also this cheek and all will be some change. Can you see? Yeah. Because you know when we are doing the augmentation here, it stretches the skin there, and I'm doing the osteotomy all across, which basically tightens the skin. And then we're working here on the nose and also on this area. So that's why you see the changes there. But it looks good actually. It makes it tighter. Right. It all of, yeah, it, it, it makes it look good. nicer actually. Like people can. Because so easily, like no, no, they won't know what has happened to you. See, they'll know, okay, something she has done. Yeah. But they'll not be able to figure out what is there once these scars disappear. Yeah. So it'll take a while for the scar to disappear once the scars disappear. And trust me, this is your scar from your earlier surgery. Yeah. Lip, lip. This time, like that scar won't come. Whatever you've done before, that scar is really bad. And I've tried to remove one scar on the side as well. This scar. This is from your earlier surgery, you know, that scar. So that won't, this, this time the scar is not going to be that bad. And that of course was done elsewhere anyway. Smile now. <laughs> no, no, that's because it's all this swelling and everything. It's going to get nice, don't worry. This cheek will be a little less when you smile now because of the tightening. That's actually going to look nicer. Anyways, so you take good care of yourself. You know, take off the sutures now. Um, and then after that, you leaving when today? Tomorrow. Okay, cool. What time do you leave tomorrow? Evening. Evening, okay. No, no, but we will do all formalities today itself. Okay. Any issue? No issue. Simply or say I'm fine and send a picture. That's also fine. Okay. But contact us on that, not on the earlier WhatsApp number. Okay. Okay. And how is your you, pain? No, it's not pain. It's not pain now. That's nice. We'll take out the sutures of that. They remove the sutures there. So we'll do everything now. Just hold on a little while. 
a while this doctor take cares of that uh, patient and then and any uh, like instructions or something i should follow up with? no problem with diet okay. make sure your nose isn't bump anywhere okay. stay away from crowded places no gymming swimming running jogging for one one and a half months that's it okay and apply the scar cream on the sides okay. and we'll give you the prescription the our post op medication okay. that's all and i feel a bit difficult breathing like it become alright because you know what there are stitches inside also so that will take a while for the stitches to dissolve when you start taking bath you can gently clean inside the nostril 2 weeks from now okay okay